But first, it's going to get worse before it gets better. That's the warning following today's inflation figure, now the highest in more than two decades. With the cost of living skyrocketing, it's pensioners who are being left behind. They want to work, but they're punished if they do. They wish, we all wish, those days could come back once more. Well, I want to work, but I can't work because you're penalising me. 20 retired professional musicians doing what they love. Problem is, the band used to get paid before gigs dried up during COVID. I'm a musician, I've always been a musician and we're late, late night people, but you've got to do what you've got to do. Like so many, Mark Lord had to find a new job to survive. I've been a professional driver for about uh, six months, I'd say. The 71-year-old pensioner is not driving on Easy Street, transporting passengers from the Illawarra to Sydney Airport. I'm doing three days a week, you know, because um, I can't afford to do any more, basically. If the, the work's there, but I just can't afford to do it. It's not quite that easy when you're a pensioner. You know, they put a disincentive into it. <laughs> Mark receives close to $700 a fortnight from the government aged pension, which he says barely covers his living expenses. And now, with inflation at a 32-year high. When we make our fortnightly uh, shopping list out, we've got to consider whether we're going to get a gas bill, electricity bill, and that depends on what we buy. Mark turns over $600 a week from his driving job. But that earning is a double-edged sword. It cuts his pension in half. So I feel that I worked my whole life to get a pension and paid taxes all my life and then I get to this age and they don't want me to work, they're penalising me when I work. On top of pension penalties, Mark also faces a tax bill at the end of the financial year. He says trying to make a living has never been so hard. I'm spending about $200 a week on fuel. Petrol prices are ridiculous. Then there's food. Cost of lettuce has gone down. It's only $7 now. The price always hurts, but, you know, you try to ignore that pain. Mark says working to supplement his pension doesn't mean a lavish lifestyle. No, no, no. If you call buying lettuce lavish, then we can... Every two weeks we can buy lettuce. Uh, but it's not lavish, no. We're just existing because the cost of living is keeping us... Um, if I don't have that work, I can't... We can't live as we do. And today, confirmation, things are only getting tougher. The country's inflation rate surged to 6.1%. Consumer costs rising by 1.8% in the June quarter alone. So what does that mean? It signals that the cost of living is still rapidly increasing. But pensions and other incomes aren't. Many pensioners now need to work to survive. But they can't because the government will take too much of their hard-earned cash. Tony Stewart is a retired music teacher. She says extra cash from relief work would go a long way. Petrol is expensive, but generally food. I eat more sausages than steak these days. But going back to work is not worth it for Tony. I've knocked it back because I am on a part pension. If I work, the pension goes right down and I don't want to lose the pension because of the benefits. I think all governments should look at what they can do to help the man in the street. Jeff Dickey started the Music Shed. You heard of the old saying about starving musicians? Well, that's, that's how come we all are when we don't get paid a lot. The sax player says he never dreamed he'd still be struggling in his twilight years. People therefore have to rely on their pension, they have to rely on um, um, you know, their superannuation or whatever arrangements they've got. Um, but certainly um, you don't earn a lot of money when you're a musician unless you're one of the top guys in Australia. Woody Finlayson knows what it's like to be at the top. He's been in the business for 55 years, more than 30 of them playing for the Deltones. Absolutely. Well, I earn nothing there. I earn nothing, which is not good. But, um, yeah, that's the way it goes. You can work one day a week, roughly, in other words, earn $150, and then you start losing your pension. You lose the pension at the rate of 50 cents in the dollar, and you pay tax as well. 
Ian Henschke from National Seniors Australia explains the problem. So we've got a snakes and ladders system where you get given a tax-free uh, day's work one day and then they hit you the next day at a tax rate that's higher than a billionaire. Out of two and a half million pensioners, only 75,000 work. At the moment, there are a half a million job vacancies in Australia. So we need workers. So we're saying in the upcoming jobs summit that they should, at least as a trial, let pensioners work and pay tax. The Federal Treasurer has hinted the aged pension could rise by $20 a week in September, alongside a review. It should have been reconsidered a long time ago. It's not a handout by the government. It, we deserved it. We, we work for it. So we're actually only getting what we deserve. So don't penalise us.